This next video we're going to talk about how to uh, enter the stream ID, reach ID, and how to get the station values uh, for the, each individual section. And so for the stream ID, it's just the name of the stream. So we're just going to go ahead and type in the name of this stream, which is uh, the Big Tavern. Uh, the reach ID is the area on that stream. And so for this one, it's just, uh, the route that's going over the stream we're going to use for the reach ID, which is going to be route 52. Okay. And if you have any questions about what that is, come to these little, uh, there's little help uh, buttons here. And you can see this, the stream ID is typically the name of the stream. And then uh, also for the reach ID, they've got the little help there. So if you forget, just look at those and that will remind you. Now, to get the station value, uh, what this is, it's the station of the stream bed where uh, the particular section crosses. Again, you can go to the help to get that information. Uh, so, for the uh, intersection of the stream or upstream valley section along the, the stream bed, to get that station, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to MicroStation and Power Geopack. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the file that actually has the stream bed in it, which is my bridge survey. So I'm going to go to and open up that file. Okay. And I'm also going to reference in um, the geometry of the center line of the new alignment and the 30-foot offsets. I already have that referenced. I'm just going to turn on that geometry. Okay, so we're going to focus on this one first. And the way you do it uh, is I'm going to use the civil AccuDraw to get that information. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle it on. And I'm also going to toggle on this option here, which is the station offset. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out my uh, button bar for my snaps. And the snap mode that I'm going to make default is the intersection one by double clicking on it. Now, to get that intersection, I'm going to start a tool that requires civil AccuDraw. So I'm going to go to my task, and I'm going to go down to uh, my horizontal geometry tools. I'm just going to use the line between points. And you can see that the station and offset is hovering on my icon. Now, to get it to be uh, station aware of the stream bed, what you have to do is hit the O button and then select the alignment that you want to get the station from, and that's going to be our stream bed. So I click on it, and you can see if I zoom out, you can see that we've got station information based off of that stream bed. Okay, and we can also get offset information, but we're really just worried about the, the station uh, uh, value. And so we're at the, here's the upstream uh, valley section and here's the stream bed and all you got to do is just hover your cursor over it and there's the station. It's 39, 64, 49. So I'm going to go over to my spreadsheet. Uh, so I'm going to go over to my spreadsheet and type that in. 39, 64, plus 49, or point 0.49. Just to double check that. Whoop. I'm going to just re-click 39.64.49. That's what we got. And so that's all you need to do for every one of these sections uh, to get the station value. Again, we'll go ahead and do one more. Let's go ahead and do like the center line section, which is this red line. Again, I'm just, I've got my intersect snap mode on. I'm in a drawing tool. Again, I'm just going to go to the center of it and uh, just let the um, let the tool snap uh, to it without single click or clicking on it at all. And so I've got 34, 75, 97 for my center line. Again, that was 34 plus forgot here 34, 75. 0.97. So that's all there is to entering the station and the stream ID and the reach ID. These are required, to, uh, you are required to have these when you create your 
geophile for the bridge office.